morning YouTube. So these are the uh, a set of four energy efficient seven LED light bulbs that I got off of eBay I think about a year ago. I would show you what they look like running, but they all died uh, well short of their 35,000 hour lifespan. They probably lasted 35 hours. Uses 0.45 watts. Titan. So these are Titan bulbs made in China. Yeah, there we go. 15 watt incandescent equivalent. They were actually fairly bright, but they didn't last very long. That's what they look like. You can see there's uh, seven LEDs inside. And I took one of them and popped the cover off. There's definitely seven LEDs. They seem to be just regular white LEDs, so three volts a piece, that'd be around 21 volts. And inside, under the little uh, plate, let me zoom in on that a little bit here, see if we can see what's in there. We got four discrete diodes. There's a resistor up on the top right corner and then down on the bottom there's two more resistors there's a metallized film capacitor that uh, brown looking one and then there's an electrolytic and then two wires up to the LEDs there's no transformer there's no MOV <laughs> there's I think all this thing is it's just a full wave bridge that metallized film it's a 400 volt capacitor so I assume that's on the input side that's probably their their filtering and they have those three resistors must just be a voltage divider circuit for the LEDs because you'd, you'd have I don't know what 170 volts DC coming out of that bridge rectifier and if the LEDs need you know, 21 volts you've just got to burn up the rest of the voltage in heat I guess and I think I did put uh, I put some DC voltage on here and a couple of the LEDs still worked I suspect they're probably overdriving them which is why they didn't last very long but that is the most minimalist LED bulb power supply I've ever seen. And I guess that's what you get when it's not UL listed. I, I don't think these are available on eBay anymore. I looked at my link and they showed they weren't available. So there's probably a good reason for it. They probably uh, got pulled off the market. But they were good when they, they lasted. I actually used them in my refrigerator and they were fairly decent light output but they just didn't last so yeah that's pretty scary no fuse no transformer there's no chokes or I think that metallized film capacitor is the only uh, noise filtering that's in there yeah that's pretty minimal LED light bulb I was amazed when I popped it open and it's like where's the rest of it <laughs> and that's it so if you ever see these for sale, I would uh, save your money because they don't last very long. Nowhere near 35,000 hours. They lasted, I think, a couple of months at the most. And you can see at their, at their uh, lumens per watt, if you basically doubled that, you'd get 160 lumens per watt, which if that's true, and they are probably just overdriving the heck out of those little LEDs, and they just burn up. And you know, like I said, I was running two of these in my refrigerator. So, number one, they aren't on more than a you know 10 seconds, 15 seconds at a time. And number two, they're in a pretty cold environment, so heat shouldn't be a problem. But you know, if you put too much voltage on an LED it's going to burn up. So I think that's what happened. So anyway, just thought I'd pass that warning along. We'll 
shout out to Electron Update. If you haven't checked out his channel, he does a lot of teardowns on these LEDs. That's my teardown, not much to it. Four diodes, three resistors, two capacitors, and seven LEDs. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that, but uh, apparently if you put it together, they'll last for a couple of months. It's actually kind of a nice package. The everything you know, fit right in there. And the top just snapped on. It, you know, they, they allow some airflow in there. It's got the airflow channels. I imagine you could you know, pop these apart to uh, clean them because that's one of the problems. If you let air inside, you're going to get dust in here, but you could easily take that apart to clean it, but they never lasted long enough to get dirty. So I don't see these listed anymore, so they're probably got pulled off the market or somebody realized they, they messed up the design. So yeah, hopefully that'll help somebody avoid uh, spending $10, $12. It seemed like a good deal, but it was too good to be true. So, as always, thanks for watching.